Welcome back to the farm for another story. Today I wanted to read with you, You Are Special by Max Lucado. And again, I thought we'd come outside. It's kind of bright and sunshiny and we'd have Mary and Jesus back here on our statue at our little garden. So welcome to St. Thomas again and here's our story. The Wemmicks were small wooden people. All the wooden people were carved by a woodworker named Eli. His workshop sat on a hill overlooking their village. Each Wemmick was different. Some had big noses, others had large eyes. Some were tall and others were short. Some wore hats and others wore coats. But all of them were made by the same carver and all lived in the same village. And all day, every day, the Wemmicks did the exact same thing. They gave each other stickers. Each Wemmick had a box of golden star stickers and a box of gray dot stickers. Up and down the streets all over the city, people spent their days sticking stars or dots on one another. The pretty ones, those with smooth wood and fine paint, always got stars. But if the wood was rough or the paint chipped, the Wemmicks gave dots. The talented ones got stars too. Some could lift big sticks high above their heads or jump over tall boxes. Still others knew big words or could sing pretty songs. Everyone gave them stars. Some Wemmicks had stars all over them. Every time they got a star, it made them feel so good. It made them want to do something else and get another star. Others, though, could do little. They got dots. Punchinello was one of these. He tried to jump like the others, but he always fell. And when he fell, the others would gather round and give him dots. Sometimes when he fell, his wood got scratched, so people would give him more dots. Then he would try to explain why he fell, and he would say something silly. The Wemmicks would give him more dots. After a while, he had so many dots that he didn't want to go outside. He was afraid he would do something dumb, such as forget his hat or step in the water, and then people would give him another dot. In fact, he had so many gray dots, some people would come up and give him one for no reason at all. He deserves lots of dots, the wooden people would agree with one another. He's not a good wooden person. After a while, Punchinello believed them. I am not a good Wemmick, he would say. The few times he went outside, he hung around with other Wemmicks who had dots. He felt better around them. One day, he made a Wemmick who was unlike any other he'd ever met. She had no dots or stars. She was just wooden, and her name was Lucia. It wasn't that people didn't try to give her stickers. It's just the stickers didn't stick. Some of the Wemmicks admired Lucia for having no dots, so they'd run up and give her a star, but it would fall off. Others would look down on her for having no stars, so they would give her a dot but it wouldn't stay either. That's the way I want to be, thought Punchinello. I don't want anyone's marks. So he asked the stickerless Wemmick how she did it. It's easy, Lucia replied. Every day I go and see Eli. Eli? Yes, Eli the woodcarver. I sit in the workshop with him. Why? Why don't you find out for yourself? Go up the hill, he's there. And with that, the Wemmick who had no stickers turned and skipped away.
but will he want to see me? Punchinello cried out. Lucia didn't hear, so Punchinello went home. He sat near a window and watched the wooden people as they scurried about, giving each other stars and dots. It's not right, he muttered to himself. He decided to go see Eli. He walked up the narrow path to the top of the hill and stepped into the big shop. His wooden eyes widened at the size of everything. The stool was as tall as he was. He had to stretch on his tiptoes to see the top of the workbench. A hammer was as long as his arm. Punchinello swallowed hard. I'm not staying here. And he turned to leave. Then he heard his name, Punchinello. The voice was deep and strong. Punchinello stopped. Punchinello, how good to see you. Come, let me have a look at you. Punchinello turned slowly and looked at the large bearded craftsman. You know my name? The little wimmick asked. Of course I do. I made you. Eli stooped down and picked him up and set him on the bench. Hmm, the maker spoke thoughtfully as he looked at the gray dots. Looks like you've been given some bad marks. I didn't mean to, Eli. I really tried hard. Oh, you don't have to defend yourself to me, child. I don't care what the other Wemmicks think. You don't? No, and you shouldn't either. Who are they to give stars or dots? They're Wemmicks just like you. What they think doesn't matter, Punchinello. All that matters is what I think. And I think you are pretty special. Punchinello laughed. Me special? Why? I can't walk fast. I can't jump. My pain is peeling. Why do I matter to you? Eli looked at Punchinello, put his hands on those small wooden shoulders, and spoke very softly. Because you are mine, that's why you matter to me. Punchinello had never had anyone look at him like this, much less his maker. He didn't know what to say. Every day I've been hoping you'd come, Eli explained. I came because I met someone who had no marks, said Punchinello. I know, she told me about you. Why don't the stickers stay on her? The maker spoke softly. Because she has decided that what I think is more important than what they think. The stickers only stick if you let them. What? The stickers only stick if they matter to you. The more you trust my love, the less you care about the stickers. I'm not sure I understand. Eli smiled. You will, but it will take time. You've got a lot of marks. For now, just come and see me every day and let me remind you how much I care. Eli lifted Punchinello off the bench and set him on the ground. Remember, Eli said as the women walked out the door, you are special because I made you and I don't make mistakes. Punchinello didn't stop, but in his heart he thought, I really think he means it. And when he did, a dot fell to the ground. My friends, this is a beautiful story that reminds us how much God cares for each one of us. He made us because we are special. As the book says, you're special. And each of us has stars and dots and marks and, and things that we wish we could change today. But God has given each of us very special gifts. 
I'm reminded of Mary, who is right behind me. She was given beautiful gifts, and she said yes to the Lord. So make sure today we visit, Eli, just like uh, Punchinello visited Eli, that we visit God each and every day and ask Him to show us how special we are. My friends, it was so good to see you again. God bless you. I love you very much. And take care, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.